So here we've got the Danfoss ABQM, which is a pressure independent balancing and control valve all in one. Now this valve combined with a Danfoss actuator optimizes your system in a cost effective manner, which saves you energy and time as well. Now I've just grabbed a 20 mil here, just so you can see and have a, a closer look at it. But for sizing these valves, you'll only need to know the flow. The benefit of that is that you have easy setting and sizing and 100% authority and perfect control. So the ABQM consists of two different parts. You've got the control valve as well as the differential pressure controller. Um, and this again combined with a Danfoss actuator ensures the required flow in every unit and maintains hydronic balance in the system. For the actuators we can do a gear driven modulating actuator or a thermal on off depending on your budget and perhaps your requirements for the specific project. Now comparing the Danfoss PICV to conventional two way valves and manual, manual balancing valves you'll simply need fewer products. The ABQM is compact, this implies less commissioning and installation time and it will make calculations easier and manual balancing of the installation is unnecessary. Uh, now the ABQM's unique design compensates for pressure fluctuations by continuously balancing the system. With the ABQM you'll also experience HVAC energy savings of between 20 and 50%. Sizes on these range from the smallest at about 15 moles or half an inch and go all the way up to 10 inch or 250 moles. Here I've also got a valve that is cut open on the side. There's a demo valve of ours so you can actually see what goes in to the valve. Now for setting your valve, all you do is screw off the cap, so you'll see here, all you're going to do is pop that up, set it to your percentage, say there, and pop it back in, and you're done. Simple as that. I'm also just going to quickly show you how easy it is to install um, an actuator onto the ABQM valve. Once you've set up, then power up and power on to open the actuator and then once power is um, off, it will close the actuator. And like I said again, three minutes to fully open the valve and three minutes again to fully close the valve.